So why do people understand language so much better than computers? What is the knowledge that we have that has been so hard to program into our machines? Well, there's a third interface between language and the rest of the mind. Uh, and that is the subject matter of the branch of linguistics called pragmatics, namely how people understand language in context, uh, using their knowledge of the world and their expectation about how other speakers communicate. The most important principle of pragmatics is called the cooperative principle. Namely, assume that your conversational partner is working with you to try to get a meaning across truthfully and clearly. Our knowledge of pragmatics, like our knowledge of syntax and phonology and so on, is deployed effortlessly but involves many intricate computations. For example, if I were to say, if you could pass the guacamole, that would be awesome. You understand that as a polite request, meaning give me the guacamole. You don't interpret it literally as a rumination about a hypothetical state of affairs. You just assume that the person wanted something and was using that string of words to convey the request politely. Often, comedies will use the absence of pragmatics in robots as a source of humor. As in the old Get Smart situation comedy, which had a robot named Heine, and a recurring joke in the series would be that Maxwell Smart would say to Heine, Heine, can you give me a hand? And Heine will then go <laughs> remove his hand and pass it over to Maxwell Smart, not understanding that give me a hand in context means help me rather than literally transfer the hand over to me. Or take the following example of pragmatics in action. Consider the following dialogue. Marcia says, I'm leaving you. John says, who is he? Now, understanding language requires finding the antecedents to pronouns, in this case, who the he refers to. And any competent English speaker knows exactly who the he is, presumably John's romantic rival, even though it was never stated explicitly in any part of the dialogue. This shows how we bring to bear on language understanding a vast store of knowledge about human behavior, human interactions, human relationships, and we often have to use that background knowledge even to solve mechanical problems like who does a pronoun like he refer to. It's that knowledge that's extraordinarily difficult, to say the least, to program into a computer.